I am here today to talk to you about the difference between hand releasing the club and forearm releasing the club. If you've watched any golf on TV and watched any PGA Tour players or LPGA Tour players for that matter, you see how consistent they are, how long they hit it and how straight they hit it and you think, wow, why are they hitting it so long and straight and I can't seem to be as consistent? The real reason is they are not releasing the club with their hands. When you are out on the range and you look at the number of players that are hitting balls on the, on the range as amateurs, what you see is a lot of hand releasing where the club is actually being released with the hands and the right hand passes the left hand. It's called hand releasing. We also refer to it as flipping. And you can create a lot of speed that way. I can hit the ball a long way using my hands down at the bottom to hit the ball. Unfortunately, I can't hit it as straight as I can if I'm forearm releasing the club, which is releasing the club like this. The body and the forearms are rotating and releasing the club together, opposed to my, my body staying still and releasing the club with the hands. When someone finishes their golf swing, you can see immediately whether they hand release the club or they released it with their forearms and their body. And the difference is the way the club comes up and off plane with a hand releaser and it stays on plane for those that release the, the club with forearms. There's greater extension with the forearms and the club stays on plane longer if I am forearm rotating. If I release the club with my hands this way, I get what they call the chicken wing with this left arm. We want it to be here. And the, when you do it properly, your forearms almost cross over and touch. It looks like this. So you can see if you can do this, that you're going to be more consistent and hit the ball straighter than if you are to hand release the club. If you're hand releasing the club, again, you can generate a lot of speed, but you're not going to be able to hit the ball as straight and keep the club on plane longer. So what I want you to do is practice keeping it, doing it slowly, keeping it all in your pivot. Back one piece, down one piece, good impact position, up and through one piece, and then finished. I used to have a teacher that would teach me how to get to impact properly and release the club with my body and my forearms. And he'd have me do this so slowly, and I hated doing it. I thought it was pointless, but it's not. It's not pointless at all. What you're teaching yourself to do is use your body and your forearms to bring the club in to a good impact position and stay on plane longer. If you can do that, you're going to be more consistent. So try to get away from slapping it with your hands, it causes you to come up and out of posture. And if you're releasing the club properly, you can stay in posture longer and keep the club on plane longer. You do that, I know you're gonna hit it straighter. That's the difference between hand releasing and forearm and body releasing the club. Work on it. You're going to hit the ball so much more consistently straight if you learn how to do this. Good luck with it. Let me know how you do.